There's tons of photo editors out there. Obviously, you've got Photoshop, GIMP, Affinity Photo, just to name a few. But I'm going to show you today how to download and install Paint.net. It's absolutely free. It's a great piece of software to help you get your creative juices going, how to install it, and also how to put in some of the most, what I think are the best plugins for it. There's a ton of plugins. It's really simple. Anyway, guys, that's all coming up after this. Imagination is not only the unique human capacity to envision that which is not, it is the power that enables us to empathize with humans whose experiences we have never shared. Hello you guys, welcome back to Game Take. So today, download and install of paint.net and putting the plugins in. It's really simple, so we're just going to get straight on with it. Over to the desktop, let's go. So we come over to the desktop. I've actually uninstalled my version of paint.net so we can take you through the whole thing. And we're going to open up a browser. We're just going to type in paint.net. And we're going to come across to this bit. This is paint.net download. And what you want to do is you want to come across to this get paint.net. We're going to download. Now if we scroll down, you can see there's two versions. There's the paid version from the Windows Store. And then there's this one, which is the free version. I'm going to get that. So you then come up to this bit, click and get the latest version. That will download into your folder. We'll shut that down now. Open up our file explorer. And then we're going to get this one. We're going to right click it. We're going to extract it into its own folder. And then we'll drag that out onto the desktop. And double click it here you can see is the installer exe we're just going to double click on that and then on user control just going to click yes close that one down we're going to let it do its thing now i'm going to use the custom because i want to put mine on a different drive i'm going to click custom i agree create a desktop Automatically check for updates. You definitely want to do that because it does it quite frequently. Go to next, and this is where we can change. I'm just going to stick mine into my D drive. Click OK. Click next. And let it do its installing. Now it automatically optimizes for your system. Okay, we're going to click finish and that should start paint.net. So you've got your paint.net installed and I'm going to show you first off how to go and get some plugins. If you scroll up to this little information box here, just come down, click plugins. This will bring you in over to the paint.net forum. There's a whole ton of things here how to install them, etc. but I'm going to show you that anyway. But what you want to do is come across to plugin packs and here are all the best ones that you want to get now, as I'm going to reinstall my plugins now. You want the bolt bait plugin. What you do is you click on that, come in and just click on download. Once that's completed, there's a little bit about them here. And then if we click back, this one comes with its own installer. Now another one I recommend is also with an installer is Pyro Child's plugin. And you can just get the zip if you want, but I'm going to go with the installer. Then we'll come back. DPY's plugin pack. That's another good one. Now this is just does a zip this one, so we'll be in that. If you come down, you can see there's a ton of different ones here. This magic is another good one. I'm going to go with that way. We'll go back. And now we're looking for the Tannel plugin. This one here. We've done that one. And then the Red Okra plugin pack. That one's done. 
these are just the ones that I recommend and also this drop shadow one is very good we just down know that's the one I was looking for so they're, they're the good ones that I recommend you can also go back and get individual ones if you go to you can see there's a plug-in index you can go for you can have a look for all these different things there's a, there's a ton of these in here i'm pretty happy with the ones that we've already got so we come out of that and then we'll close down paint.net for a second and then we'll open up open up my downloads folder and here they all are here so i'm just going to extract them into their own folders Okay, and we'll grab all of those and we'll move it out onto the desktop. Okay, so we'll start off with the first one, double click on it, double click on the installer. But yes, gives you a bit of a list of what they do, agree to the terms. I'll click, and that's that one done. Next, we'll do DP Boy. This gives you a list. Now, DPY has not got an installer. So what you do with this is right-click it. I always copy them. And then go to where you've put your paint.net. In my case, it's in Games D, Program Files, Paint.net. Go to Effects. Right-click, Paste. And let's put them all in there. And Pyro Child, which is a particularly good one. This comes with an installer, so just right click that one. Any things that you don't actually want in there, you can take out. Click next. Install only for me while well, that is. And then just click install. And this one that automatically opens up paint.net. And I will show you some. If we go to effects, You'll start seeing these little jigsaw pieces this is to show these are the actual plug-in ones okay and if you click on like object you'll see different things appear etc we'll shut that down next up is that one's already been installed we'll do bolt bait next now bolt baits is the best one out of all of them it comes with a ton of stuff click yes you need to tick this if you've got the store version which we haven't we've gone for the free version and i'm just going to go install everything installation complete we can close that one down this is the uh, drop shadow one we just go on to the installer exd exe and you can see that these are the things that we want to install. That should be that one there. Next we'll do this one. Agree to the terms. Install. Get that one done. And then finally the last one. This one doesn't come with an EXE, so again, copy them, go to where you've got your paint.net installed, which in my case is the D drive, go to your effects, right click, paste, and that's that. And then you've just installed all of that lot. Okay. So then if we open up paint.net, just to quickly show you, if we were to go to, let's do a new layer, we need a bit of text, do the big size for a second, do 16, right, text, if we come up mainly to the effects tab, you'll see that you've got flip horizontals these are all plugins but the main ones that i use you'll see look these are all plugins that have happened in here if you come up to effects go to object 
We'll use the pyro child one for a moment. Let's suppose we wanted to highlight it in red. Here you can do your outlines, you got your width, softness, etc. And if you tick the angled box, these are all the little plugins you can move it around, etc. Got a video coming on making your text stand out. And there's a ton of other plugins that come with it. You can see if you open up adjustments, you've got all like black and white. A lot of these are for photo editing, but you can see we've changed that to that. Just cancel that again. Monochrome. I so say a lot of these are for photos and for messing about with color balances, color matching, temperatures, etc. Like so. And that's really where they they show up mainly in these two here. And then when you scroll down to a certain certain thing, if there's anything extra, it will pop out at the side. If you came to artistic, you can see there they all are. You can do it into an oil painting, which will change it. Oh, there's so much you can do. You'd need to have a play about with them anyway. So that is how you install your plugins, guys. So that's that for this episode. And, uh, and got episodes coming up on making like your text stand out. And we're going to be going over the tools in an episode. But I thought I'd get you started by getting the plugins installed. And uh, we can go from there. Okay, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.